Hi guys, how is everybody doing? I told you I was gonna do a part two, that's actually four, a part two of my favorite things. Now, before I get into this, the lighting may be a little off right now only because I don't have my professional lighting up and because it's raining outside. So um, if the lighting is a little dark, I apologize. It shouldn't be. I'll try to tweak it and stuff in my, um, you know, in my edits and stuff. But however, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I'm going to talk to you guys about is the Kevin Aquan SX02. So I'm going to show you what these all are. These are so pigmented. Like, I'm not even kidding you. Like, look how, okay, you see what it looks like there. Now, like literally a little teeny tiny drop, even like that. Watch, I'm gonna show you. It's so opaque, it's not even funny. These, you're gonna have to like really blend out. And um, I was actually playing with them the other, playing with this, I've been playing with this for like months because I got this at the makeup show. And it has been so difficult because of all the pigment that this has in it. And I tried to use a little bit of my, under my eyes. You can use them as foundations, concealers, pretty much anything. And anybody that knows about Kevin Aquan, all his products are truly amazing. So um, this, like I said, little goes a long way. Okay. Now I'm going to talk to you about a bunch of MAC products, actually. <laughs> Painterly and Bear Studies. Bear Study is what I've been using. This is what I have on my eye now. This is what it looks like here, and I'm going to show you. This is like a very pretty, like shiny kind of um, paint pot. This is the Prolong Wear paint pot, actually. And it just looks like that. I don't know if you can see, but it shines a little bit. I like just putting this on my eye when I, you know, don't want to wear any eyeshadow, and that way I can just have something on my eye. Or another really good one is the Painterly, and this is another Prolong Wear. And this one is just more like a beige color to me. It's got like a really beige soft color for the eye. I don't know if you can see that there. It's got like a, like a, like a, I want to say taupe undertone to it. it. Has a little bit of a taupe undertone to it. And you can put it on your eyelids and it makes all your eyeshadows last all day. Like I never have any issues with my eyeshadow or anything coming off. So... I really like these. These okay. These are Spellbinder shadows by Mac. They look like this, okay. And this one is dramatically charged. Now watch this. Look at that. Is that insane or what? Pigmented. There it is. There. I just wiped off a little bit so that you can see that it can blend. You can blend them, but they are so pigmented. And then the next one is Higher Power. Higher Power, and that's that one. It's more of another, it's like a chocolate brown. That's what it reminds me of, a chocolate brown. Let me see if I can't fool with this lighting because it's like tripping me out. Hold on one second. That's a little bit better. I might look a little orange because I'm using fluorescent lighting instead of using um, regular normal lighting uh, from outside. So um, I might look a little orange. I hope not, but hopefully you can see the products a little bit better. I felt like it was too dark. Okay, so the next one is retrograde. That one was called Higher Power. So this one is retrograde. This is like a purple black to me. I don't know if you can see that really well. It's like a purple black. You see that? And then let me see if I can just put it on here. I actually put it on over Bare Study just to see what that would look like and it's really pretty. Okay, so now the very last one is Mysterious Influence. Mysterious Influence is like a green color. It's really, really pretty. It's like a gray green. 
can see that. There we go. I like how it like printed that. That was so cool looking. And there you go. It's like an olive green. Let's see if you can see that in the light. Okay, so that was them. And that one, I don't know if I told you the name, but that was retrograde. So just in case I didn't say it, retrograde. Okay, now I want to talk to you about the Ember Lease. This is multifunctional. Like seriously, it's a moisturizer, makeup primer, moisturizing mask. It's everything all in one. I really love this stuff. As you can see, I have been using the heck out of it. I will be getting more for sure. I love the way it feels on my skin and how my makeup wears throughout the whole entire day. See, that's it on the side. See, Emberlease has some wonderful, wonderful products. The twins. Um, actually made this brand and they also made a brand called twin medics which I swear I will get to those reviews I just have so much to do but I just wanted to bring this in here and say how much I love it and how much I've been using it okay so this is so cool when you see this you're gonna be like what the heck my daughter's gym is a little bit warm. Yes, we do have in, you know, an air conditioner part for the parents, but none of the parents want to go sit in that. We want to see our kids and stuff. So, um, Victoria's Secret was giving away a fan and like, this is perfect for me. Um, and the fan is really, really cool. Now I'm going to show you it. Let's see if it'll catch it on light. I don't know if it will. It says pink nation. Then it goes around and it says, mind blown and then it goes around and then it says so hot i don't know if you can see that but how cool is that they were giving it away free i love pink um with any purchase of anything that's six dollars or more they were giving it away free and get chill and it actually blows pretty good too look at my hair moving so when it's hot i use this and all the cheerleaders love it they think it's super cool so yeah, I just wanted to show you that because this is like now one of my favorites because when the gym is hot, I have this and it's not so hot. And I also, also bought one of those water bottles that you spray with the fan and I like that as well too, but I haven't got to use it because I literally just got it today. So, but this is cute. It's handheld. Um, it'll cool you down and it's, let's just admit it, it's pretty cool. So anyways, I was just wanting to show you that one of my favorites. Okay, moving on. Now, Laura Mercier, as you can tell, I have been using this. Um, this thing has lasted me a long time. This is their Matte Radiance Bake Powder, and it's Highlight 01. I mean, I'm sure people have used this before, but as you can see, I have used this a lot. Right here, if you can tell. This is so beautiful. I love this for a, a highlight. It's so soft. Of a highlight I really hope my camera's picking this up guys like I said you know it's it's almost dark and I had to use my natural lighting so but I hope it's picking it up it's really really super pretty and then another one that I have is the Manzer sisters the Ma Manzers Man 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 Manzer sisters aka the Lumini luminers I guess Cindy Lou Man's Manizer Betty Lou Manizer and Mary Lou Manizer. Oh my God, if I'm butchering this, I apologize. But this is from The Bomb. And these have some really beautiful colors on there. They're supposed to be like in trouble and stuff. But um, yeah, this is like Mary Lou is my favorite. It kind of almost reminds me of this, the Laura Mercier, but it's a little bit more, you know, pigmented and it's really leaves like a shine. Here, hold on, you're not gonna see it that way. Let's do it this way. See, that one you can really see. The other one's more, you know, soft, and then this one is more, you know, more pigmented. So if you want more subtle or more, you know, stronger, definitely recommend this. And then the Cindy Lou, I haven't even tried, to be honest with you. It's more of a pink color. So that's that one. It's more of a pinky color. Let's see if it'll show up. Yeah, it's pinky and it's iridescent. So it's like a pink iridescent color. And then I have one more, which is the Betty Lou. That's more of a bronze, of course. 
Ooh, you hear that? <laughs> That's thunder! And it's right here. That's more of a bronze color. So hopefully these colors and stuff have shown up a lot because I won't be able to see until I'm finished editing. <laughs> so, okay, moving on. Okay, these were, these were the ones that I was talking about. Um, the HD Correct It palette and the Conceal It palette by Maron. This was the color that I said I used a lot and then I've been using this one for eyebrows and you know, for highlighting or not highlighting pretty much not this one this one would be for highlighting but I haven't used these as you can see just this one I've been using it you know for brows you know to take away some of the dark areas and things like that so I've been using this a lot and this is becoming one of my favorite palettes to use for that okay now I did get some things from Mac today um, that I will be doing a review on um, I actually saw one of the other youtubers with this um, I wanted to see if I could get a um, wet proof or waterproof um, face you know um, so I got the Pro Long Wear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation by MAC and then the Pro Long Wear Press Powder so um, I got these just to try I'm going to try to do a waterproof look to see if it really does work I've heard you know a lot of things about it you know for people that don't like to wear you know no makeup at the pool or the beach or anything like that I don't mind wearing a little makeup to be honest with you very light and this is very light from what I understand and buildable so you can it's sweat proof supposedly and everything so it's very light very buildable and um, from what she said and I'm going to possibly also be freelancing for Mac again so I was super excited about that I was talking to the girl um, at Mac one of the managers so I'm gonna be possibly freelancing for them again which will be nice um, but yeah, so I'm going to try this out. I'm going to try to do a whole waterproof look to see, you know, how it works. Um, I don't mind wearing a little bit of makeup, like I said, at the beach and stuff. Um, it just makes my face more covered from the sun and I always use SPF anyways, but I'm not a big sun person and I know that I've gotten tan only because I've been doing stuff with my baby and, you know, she's been wanting to go to the pool or we've been going to the beach and then when my um, in-laws were in town my kids grandparents they were at the beach so I've been in the beach a lot so that's pretty much what I've been doing this summer hanging out with my daughter and everything now in a minute she's going to come on here and she's gonna talk to you about some of her favorite things so um, I'm going to give her the camera for a little bit to do her own favorite thing. So stay tuned so you can see her in action doing her YouTube videos. She watches them, she loves them, and she wants to do them like mommy. So I'm gonna let her do a little five minute video. So you guys gotta stay tuned for it. Okay. I wanted to also talk to you guys about the Vizart. I got this when I was at the makeup show. See, I have two of the older ones. The ones that open up like this the little ones the minis that open up like this I have this one and I have the brown one and then I got this one which I absolutely love it's the cute little pro palette and this one is uh, let's see I don't know which one this is but this one has like some really pretty brown colors and it has more like this one has one two three four five six seven eight versus this one that has six so you can see the squares are six there and then these have a little bit more and they're eight so I love this palette I've been using it as you can see it's been being used and it's so pretty and I'm gonna probably do a makeup look with this for you guys just an eye look all right guys well that is going to be it for this video and now I'm going to let my baby take over Okay, hi everybody. So this is the Oprah Cosmetics. You can see it. And this is my makeup wipes I've been using. 
for when I wipe off my makeup. And I'm going to show you what my makeup looks like right now. It's like this. All like that. And I really like it. I like my makeup really that. I like want to do my makeup. <laughs> I always, I've been wanting to use my makeup. And this is um a mascara. You can see that. And um, so we'll be right back with that. Okay, so this is a um a nail polish. It's um it has different colors in it. You can see. It has different colors in it. It has um it has blue and pink. You can see blue and pink. And um this is so this is a oh, well, lipstick. Move move it up. It's a lipstick and Oh, it's really pretty. I like it. And, yeah. It actually used to have a unicorn here. I don't remember. But it has some glitter things in it that make it look pretty. See, I'm wearing it right now. See, I'm wearing it right now, guys. Yeah, I'm wearing it right now. And I'm still practicing how to be a makeup artist because I really want to be a makeup artist like my mom when I grow up. And yeah. So, pause. Okay, so these are all of my makeup brushes. You can see one of them. Um, I know you really can't see them. Oh my god. You really can't see it because... Okay, so I'm just going to take all of them out at one end <laughs> and um i'm gonna show you my second favorite <laughs> okay this is my um hold on. this is my third favorite um I'm, oh you know you can't see the brush on it and um here let me close it up a little bit there now you can see guys and sometimes I like to use it. And, um, my second favorite, or I mean, my third favorite, because I haven't even used it yet, but I just don't want to use it because it's my favorite. And, yeah. It's about control. Okay, and, um, this, you can't see it that very well. And yeah, but you can see it now because it's a glittery lip gloss thing. You can see it. it has a little black cup on it that is really pretty. And I'm gonna just spin it around so you can see it. And yeah. And second, I have a different favorite. Um. Um. Okay. This is Violet Voss. And yeah, screwed up. Um, this is what do you call it? Okay. Violet Voss, and it's really glittery. I love it. And yeah. Okay, so guys, I'm gonna put it on my lipstick. Ah, I'm sorry, broke it. Okay, guys, and um, I'm gonna show you something. This is a um, wait, wait, what's it again? This is Milani, Milani Red Lipstick. And, yeah. Sometimes I like to use it, but I'm just going to start wiping it off now. Guys, I'll, see, I'll see you guys in my next video with my mama. And give this, um, give me a like. Um, press the like button and, um, do, um, subscribe and comment down below. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.